Hey guys, how are you? Hopefully you are fine. I welcome all of you at my channel Computer Code. So today our Python is lecture. So last lecture we create how we input from user. And today I'm gonna teach you how we can use if else statement, meanwhile condition statement if we want to use something. Uh, we have some uh, conditions uh, this thing happening then do this otherwise do this. So we can do this uh, with uh, if else condition that we use and I will open my book and uh, uh, first of all we read the theory of how we can use this and then I install editor for this I use this book uh, python crash courses for python uh, crash courses this is very good and uh, page number 109 for this if statement I zoom in for your better understanding so here is different programming and here is things how we can use if else statement that allows uh, allow examine that content current state of the program response approximate if so here is a simple example and uh, this is and here is use for loop but I uh, but we do not need a for loop we use this only on and see how it will happen so first of all we need a new editor that is sublime I download it okay for windows okay so it will saying item do not support okay so I start here download as is just it will take some time once it's complete I will continue okay so this is done and I double click here and also install it okay the sublime okay install and I set here finish and search here sublime text see okay I minimize it so a new version is available okay so I download it update it okay it is downloading it will take some little bit time once it's complete I will continue the person who did not subscribe my channel can de subscribe it for these kind of latest updated to learn if you wanna to learn python or flutter or complete course uh, related to flutter or flutter widgets ok it will take some time so this is downloaded and i install it new updated version ok sublime change log ok this is done ok i close it so here i create a new file uh, file is here i just simply save as at the desktop and the file name condition.py ok so i set here that py ok here i just first of all print i hopefully this is the zoom in ok this is zoom in done so i little bit close it ok so print i am from sublime and i control s and uh, as usual you see i type here cmd and cd desktop and python condition py and you say i am from sublime okay so here is i have a number okay sorry i forgot num1 num is equal to i just zoom out little bit okay is equal to 2 so as is as we book we see how we can use this uh, just a second where is uh, okay here is so if car is if car and like this okay so we can use like this if num is equal to equal to 2 then print this number is 
equal to 2 and I move out of this and here else I use print this number is not equal to 2 okay so I control as it and CLS to clean this and re-execute it okay so this will give me error line 4 okay hopefully this is uh, here is just some spaces issue uh, otherwise not any issue okay 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 I, uh, first of all I have to look at this book if okay then okay yeah I, I got the error where is the error I don't use this okay so I control s and re-execute it and this number is equal to 2 what if I provide here number 1 what will do and this number is not equal to 2 so let me create a new uh, small little bit calculator last lecture we see how we can input from user first of all here num and here I input uh, first of all I use int and here input enter the number enter the number okay so here is num2 if I have two number then I will do any operation otherwise not okay that will also enter the number one and here enter the number two I just control s it and re-execute it enter the number one I enter five enter the number two I enter six okay so our program gonna exit I use instead of number I use value that I use value so this is okay so I control as it okay so here are but uh, this is so I print here num plus num num 2 so I will execute it ok so I use cls and re-execute enter the number 1 that is 6 that is 5 and it will 11 ok so this is continue and here I used a print statement that is a string press 1 for sum press 2 for sub subtraction I just copy paste it Here is 3 and here is little bit 4. 3 for multiplication. And division. DI. Division. Uh, if my spell are wrong, so please ignore it. I control F and re execute it. Oh, sorry. Python condition enter the value 5 and the value 2 ok so this will happen so here is some more spaces just only on one space I need ok so this is fine ok so here is our uh, if condition uh, first of all ok I do something wrong ok no I do not I set here our new variable that is name of selection 
input that is uh, first of all I use as usual int that is input we use it I said please select okay for this this is selection and otherwise and what other thing we do okay if select is equal to equal to 1 then print num plus num2 so if we use multiple if else then we use l if select is equal to equal to 2 print num minus num2 and here is elif again select is equal to equal to 3 ok so I here print num star num2 for multiplication in programming we use star and at the end we use elif select is equal to equal to 4 print num divided by num2 ok so, so end of this I will use if he select any other option so I use else you select in valid value that we use ok so I will control s and re-execute it enter the value 1 that is 5 enter the value 2 is that is 3 ok please select so I will use for sum so it will provide me 8 ok here is little bit ok I type here space and re-execute it I use cls for clean this and python and if I enter 5 and that is 9 so if I want to multiplication I press 3 and that is 45 it will answer me mm, just a second ok selection selection ok I forgot it you select invalid value ok so I control s here what if I enter a value that is 5 and that is 6 and enter by chance 9 you select invalid hopefully you understand the <laughs> or we can use if else that is condition statement if we have some condition like this we uh, we made a calculator so for that we use if else statement if we use multiple if else then we use if l if and the next lecture if i i did not uh, see any i think uh, switch statement if this is available i will tell i will teach you about switch statement otherwise we leave it and move further and after that we will apply some string operations uh, my one lecture is on string how we can apply different strings operation and then we continue our further as you see ok so this is the different uh, boolean expression that we use the, in different ways we can use in ok if statement and I did no think so there is any switch statement hopefully if there is switch, uh, switch statement so I will use it and I will teach you how to how to we can use this so here is different problem try it yourself so I this is here then you can try it solve it your end alien color there so imagine a line, a line just show in game create a variable called align color and design the value of green and yellow or red write if statement if test where is align color is green the print a message that player is just earned 5 point 
android this this is a different challenges that you, you can solve it according to your need to for your better understanding programming skill the person who did not subscribe my channel kindly subscribe my channel for this kind of video thanks for watching